Surya. 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 Surya, 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 Sun. Remember, Sun. Surya, 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 Ha. Surya, 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 Ha. Surya, 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 Ha. Suryam, Surya, Surya, An. Surya, 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 Ha. Surya, 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 Ha. Okay. I want you to repeat. Surya, 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 Ha. Suryam, Surya, Suryan, Suryena, Surya, Pyam, Suryaihi. I want you to listen, not look, because Sanskrit is a oral language. Suryena, Surya, Pyam, Surya, Suryaihi, Suryaya. This is a dative. Suryaya, Surya, Pyam, Surya, Pyaha. Ablative. Surya, Surya, Pyam, Surya, Pyaha. Again, Surya, Surya, Pyam, Surya, Pyaha. Next, genitive. Surya, 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 Yoho, Surya, Yoho, Surya, Yoho, Surya, Nam, Surya, Nam. Locative. Surya, 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 Yoho, Surya, Yoho, Surya, Yoho, Surya, Shu. Surya Shu. Then, vocative. Surya, Surya, Surya. Surya, 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 Ha. Okay, next one. Balaha, boy. Balaha, Balao, Balaha. Balam, Balao, Balan. Balena, Balapyam, Balaihi. Balaya, bala piam, bale piaha. Balad, bala piam, bale piaha. Balas, balasya, bala yo ho, bala nam. Bale, bala yo ho, bale shu. Bala, balao, bala ha. Naraha, narao, naraha. We'll do two times each. Naram, narao. Naran, naram, narau, naran. Then instrumental. Narena, narapiam, naraihi. Narena, narapiam, naraihi. Ablative. Narat, narapiam, narepiaha. Narat, narapiam, narepiaha. Genitive. Narasya, narayoho. Naranam, Narasya, Narayoho, Naranam. Locative, Nare, Narayoho, Nareshu. Nare, Narayoho, Nareshu. Vocative, Nara, Narao, Naraha. Okay, give me a single for Mirga. So it will be Mrigaha, Mrigam. Mrigena, uh, Mriga, Mrigaya, 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 Mrigat. Uh, which else is it? Mrigasya. Uh, Mrig, uh, Mrigasya. Uh, then. Uh, locative. Locative is uh, Mrig, Mrigesu. Uh, it just yes. ends with an A. Mriga. Mrigay. Mrige, Mrige, sorry, Mrige, and uh, vocative is uh, Mrika. Good, okay. Uh, Swarna, give me a single for Putra. Putraha, Putram. Instrumental. It's instrumental. Putrena. Dative. Aya. Putraya. Ablative. At. Putrat. Genitive. 
Potrasia. Potrasia. Facative. Putre. 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 Ada. Putra. Excellent. Well done. It's very blank. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, it is good. Get through time. Okay. Um, Joy. Single. Uh, the reason I'm saying single is because most of the time it's going to be a single anyway. A single for. Okay, Gajaha. That's a nice one. Okay. Gajaha, Gajam, Gajena, Gajaya, Gajat, Gajasya, Gaje, Gaja. Okay, Manish. Uh, one for Ashwa. Ashwaha, Ashwam, Ashwain, Ashwasi, Ashwai, Ashwat. Okay, I'll tell you the order. So go a uh, nominative. Ashwaha. Accusative. Ashwam. Instrumental. Ashwain. Ashwena. Ashwena. Again, Ashwena. Ashwena. It's always going to end with ena. And then okay. ablative. Ashwai. Ashwat. 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 Again, Ashwat. 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 Excellent. Now genitive. Is Ashwasi. Ashwasya, sya, 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 ashwasya. Ashwasya. Again, ashwasya. Ashwasya. Again, ashwasya. Ashwasya. And then marketive. Ashwe. 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 Again, ashwe. Ashwe. Mrge. Mrge. Nare. Nare. Rame. Rame. Putre. Putre. Okay, and then. Ashwa. Good, Ashwa. Gokhmir, would you like to try? Um, uh, Bimal, you got your hand up. Um, I'll get to you. So, okay. Uh, um, what was oh, it? With that? Shisha. Shisha, okay. Shisha, student. Okay. okay. Uh, nominative? Shishya. Accusative? Shishyam. Shishina. Shish. Dative? Shishyaya. Shishyat, Shishyasya, Shishye, Shishye, Shishya. Now, when you get to this section, I want you to ask for every question someone's going to say, whether you're male or female. Bhavan, Kim Karoti, sir, what do you do? Bhavati, Kim Karoti, and then they're going to say, I am going, Aham Gachami, and then you can make a sentence. Out of it. Aham gachami mama putram. I'm going to my son. And I want you to do exact order as in English because when you speak, you can indeed follow the English order. So it means I, first I, aham, then go, gachami, and then my son, mama putram. For the water, uh, jalaya. I want to address Casey's question. How do you remember a verse? Shruti vipratipana. And then you go with a little train. Vipra. Shruti vipratipanate yada stasyati nishchala samadha vachala buddhihi tada yogam avapsyasi. You can do something like that. And then see what shape you come up with. It looks like a fish or something. A whale with a mouth is the eyes. There's a fin. <laughs> okay. That's fantastic. <laughs> not, is so good. <laughs> I have no idea it's going to turn out like that. But the point is, it's fun, right? So whatever is humorous is memorable. Whatever is formal is forgetful. So please take note of that. Oh, the little fins there. There's a little fish going inside its mouth. No. So it chooses to go the other way, runs away to another verse. And then you do another verse, a piasso, et cetera. <laughs> okay. Let's start at chapter eight. So we're going to learn about sandhi, neuter nouns. So we've done masculine. Now we're going to go into the neuters. So we're on page 87. What does a sandhi do? It ensures that the sounds will combine in a pleasing way. And there are two types. There's external sandhi and there is internal sandhi. The external sandhi is sandhi between two words, like ashwaha atra. There's two words, word one, word two. 
So send he between the last letter of word one and the first letter of word two. That's called external sandhi. And then what do you have when you combine ashwaha atra? You have ashwotra. Siddhi asiddhi. Now remember that table when you combine the I and the A, you have ya. E changes to a ya. And you will notice that the orange word always remains the same. Okay. Remains the same, remains the same, except in this example. The A changes into it, what's called an avagraha. This is called an avagraha. Internal sandhi. This is where the sandhi happens within the word. For example, we said if there's an R, then it will change the N. Originally, it's without that retroflex. It really is like na. But as soon as you put the R, it changes that N into a retroflex N because your tongue is naturally in that position. Whereas without the R, there is no N. It's a normal. Uh, there is no retroflex. It's a normal N. Okay, so that's external and internal Sanhi. Sanhi rules of Sanskrit exist because the Sanskrit tradition has been primarily an oral tradition. Thus, to optimize the way the words are spoken, they had to put emphasis on the sandhi. So what is sandhi? The sound modification between words. That's how modern linguists describe it. Now there is three parts to sandhi. We have learned about the vowel sandhi. That means that table of ai ure on top and ai ure ai o au on the right. We've learned about the final visarga sandhi. That means the vowel visarga. Aha and aha. And we will learn about consonant sandhi in lesson 10. Gachati ashwam. Again, you've got the example of e, a. You combine the e and a, and what do you have? That e changes to a ya. The ashram remains the same. So, what is sandhi? It is when the last letter of the first word modifies. The first letter of the second word. 99% of the cases remains exactly as it is, except in that ashwaha atra, which turns into an avagraha. That's the only time the second word changes. Eva avashishyate. Uh, same thing. A, a equals eva avashishyate. Combine two letters, you have long letter. Brahma asmi. Brahma asmi. You've seen that before. Because a, a combined together. And here's the table. A better way to memorize it is with color coding. That's exactly what we've done here. Firstly, the question is, when do I join the two words and when do I leave them separate? The only time you don't join the words is in when the first word ends with an A or an I. What do we notice here? We notice that, for example, look at the U. Why did I put a pink V there? Because it lets you know that that U changes into a V in almost all cases. V, 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 V. So what does this mean? It means whenever word one ends in U and it meets one of these letters, should we say vowels, then that U is going to change into a the. And then the second letter is always going to be the same as the first letter of the second word. Okay, so the second letter never changes in most cases, except that aha and atra. Well, let's take au. So when the word one ends in au, for example, ramau, and it meets letter starting with a, like ramau atra, then what happens? that au is going to change in all cases into a av. So what's ramau atra? Um, ramavatra. Uh, ramavatra, right? Ramavatra, yeah. okay. So can you give an example of um, i mm -hmm. or a? Mm -hmm. But tasmai. Tasmai, good. Tasmai. Okay, let's do Tasmai uh, Ashwaha. So 
A plus I equals das. You got I plus Ashwaha. Das ma Ashwaha. Tasma Ashwaha. Yeah, so from Tasmai, from original Tasmai Ashwaha to Tasma Ashwaha. And notice there's a space in between because there is a space in between. Okay. So we don't apply Sandhi anymore. Like we stop there. Good. And I'm going to it's get not to a, So I'm, it's not like. I'm going to apply, get to that point now. So, right. so you apply it once and you stop. It's not recursive, Santi. Yeah, it's not forever. <laughs> <laughs> All day, <it's> Santi. <laughs> Andre, do you mind going back and computing that table again? Mm -hmm. I always have trouble with the way the tables are written. But okay. Um, yeah, it's basically like this. When the when word one, word one is always the first word, right? When word one ends in any one of these letters, that means the last letter of word one is right here. And it meets word two. So the next word begins with a letter wow. starting with one of these. Yes. Then, what, then what happens? Step two you replace word one letter. That means you replace one of these letters with this table. And word two remains exactly the same. You don't touch it. Got it. Okay. So in all, in yes. all cases, uh, except for I uh, and A, in all other cases, we'll have a single word after Sandhi. So the output will be one word. Yeah, the, the but, output would be um, one word. Yeah, one total word without any spaces. Except, but, except in A and I. Yeah, okay. Like for example, Tasma, the two words, both in Devanagari and in Roman. Okay, thanks. Everywhere else is going to be one big long word. Andre? Yeah. Uh, in the first line, the first three alphabets where you have the long R, why is there a small symbol on top of it, please? That and means uh, that means it's both for short R and long R. That means okay, it applies right. for both. Okay, okay. okay. Here's what Swarna was saying. Once Sanhi has been applied, number nine, no further application is necessary. So here's what we mean. Original Ramaha Putraha Gachataha Iti. How do you do Sandhi? Ramaha Putrascha. That's correct. Gachata Iti. Okay, because remember, aha plus vow, you remember you remove the visarga. Now the temptation is to apply Sandhi again. You go, okay, so A plus E. Hmm, let's go back to the table. A plus E. Okay, so let's turn that into an A. And then you go here and you make it an A. That's wrong. That's why the face is not happy. So apply Sanhi once and stop. And then you're a happy chappy. So, okay, so what it's saying in number 10 is in this particular text, for the sake of making it simpler for the student, it's going to create two different, it's going to create a separation between letters in Roman. Gachatya and then Ashwam. Now, this is for the sake of making it more legible, more readable. But when you're doing your homework, then you will join these two words because there's no space in between. Okay, but when it's the text is showing you, it's going to show the little space just to make it easier to see which is word one and which is word two. So how are you going to write this out in your homework? You're going to say Gachatya. Shwam. Okay, there it is. No spaces in between. 12. Put in your booklet when Sandhi does not apply, no matter what. Rule one. When word one ends in e, e, u, u, and a, e, and it declines in a jewel. So this means, you know, that narao, ramao, that's a jewel, right? 
Now, suppose there's a paradigm and that jaw ends in one of these words, one of these letters, e, e, u, u, a. Then you do not apply samhi. For example, girl is bala, boy is bala, but girl is bala, so it's two long A's. Now, jewel for girl, this is jewel for a girl, is bale. I know it's different, it looks like a locative, but this is a different paradigm. So bale is jewel for girl. Now, what is A plus A? According to our table, it should be bala agachataha because you're applying sunny bala plus long a i'll go back so this means we should change it to bala but we do not why because it ends with an a it ends with an a one of these letters and it is dual therefore do not apply sunny and the second rule not to apply sunny ever is when it is a vocative you don't need to, you know, apply some complicated for calling out on Rama. Rama Shwaha. <laughs> now you say Rama Ashwaha. <laughs> okay, so Aho, Ashwa, or Putra, son, Atra Gachasi, come here. Not Putra, Atra Gachasi. Putra, Atra Gachasi. This is a new table. Welcome to neuters. Neuters means it is neither masculine nor feminine. These nouns uh, or these words always end in short A, just like Nara, masculine always ends in short A, like Nara, Putra, Bala, Surya, Mrga, etc. These will always end in A also. Now, what can we see here? We understand all of these already. We've just done, we just wrapped <coughs> this out. The only difference is the nominative and the accusative. There's our famous M for nominative and there's a famous m for accusative so what is one fruit palam what is two fruits repeat pale what is many fruits palani now good news nominative and accusative is always the same in any neuter no matter what paradigm it is so palam pale palani palam pale palani with the uh, with the Devanagari script, that's a fur, isn't it? Or is it a is the fur? This is a p p. Is it a p? Yeah, not not, not a, a fur. There's no f in um, Sanskrit. And vocative is exactly the same. There's pale, two fruits, palani, many fruits. And remember the vocative, you always take out the last letter, so there's no there's no m there. So the m we just cross out, just like nara. Nara, repeat. Amritam, immortality. Amritam. Amritam. That is a neuter. Amritam, immortality. Katam, how? Katam, how? Jnanam, knowledge. Jnanam. It's not jnanam, it's ny. It's like jnanam. Jnanam, knowledge. But Patati, he reads. Repeat the root also. But remember the tongue goes up. But patati, patati, but patati, he reads. Pustakam, neuter, book. Palam, neuter, fruit. Repeat. Vanam, common word, forest. Vane, what's vane? Two forests. Two forests. Uh, you're not going to see two forests um, in the, in the, in the in forest. The, in, forest. In, in the forest, yeah. I don't, I don't, I've never seen two forests in any <laughs> scriptures. Uh, you know, for example, Ramaha Vane Gachati. So Rama goes in the forest. Shastram. Scripture. Shastram. Scripture. Repeat out loud. Shastram. Scripture. Satyam. Neuter. Truth. Satyam. Truth. Suktam him. Suktam him. That's a long U. Suktam. And the, remember the dental. Suk -ta -ta -ta. Suktam. Okay, so I want you to please go through these words and repeat it at least once or twice because it's going to be in the upcoming homework in two weeks. 
Uh, Andre? Yes. Do you, do you know why, uh, when you would use Shastram versus Shruti? Uh, Shastram is scriptures, Shruti is heard, which is of the oh. scriptures. They're usually used interchangeably, but Shruti is specifically heard. That is what the Rishis, they've heard the knowledge, heard the Vedas, and then created a Shastram out of it. And also in uh, classical music, uh, what we do is like the, the drone that we play is called Shruti to keep the singer or the instruments in the same uh, pitch. So it's okay. called a Shruti because Shruti. we hear and play the instrument or ah. we hear that and play and sing. Ah. To keep the musician within the range of the pitch. Okay. Shruti. Okay. Um, in the last... Uh, uh -huh. uh, in the last loka that we learned, it starts with Shruti, right? And there we interpreted that scripture. Yeah, Shruti Vipratipanadi, exactly. So that which is heard, it is the scriptures. Oh, okay, okay, right. Okay, thank you. And then Amritam, can it mean, I mean, does it mean uh, nectar also? or? Yeah, nectar, uh, I mean, you know, there's many words for it. Um, I don't want us to get too confused about the words. There is immortality, there is... Um, permanence uh, there is non-changeness it doesn't modify it is the sweet nectar and this is a rule that we have already learned regarding sandhi we have learned that r that is the vowel r, and the r the consonant r, these are two different letters by the way don't confuse them um, they change the ordinary na into a retroflex na However, there's a rule. This change will not occur if there is a if there is a t between the n. This t will keep this n safe. For example, see that t green t. It keeps that n safe. Therefore, there's no change. It keeps this n safe. No change because there's a t in between. So let's uh, do a little memory. T for um, something that protects that starts with T. The, 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 the. Uh, like a trap door, so it traps the. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the <good>. tra <laughs> it traps excellent. it and doesn't reach. <laughs> trap, excellent, 10 out of 10. Okay, so T for trap keeps the end safe in its bubble of heaven. Homework, page 79, 5B to F. B to F, six, B to F, seven, B to F, and eight, six to 12, next week. And then obviously, what will I prescribe next week? I will prescribe the remaining parts. And that's how we will get through chapter seven, long list of homework. And then once we've done that, we will proceed on to chapter eight exercises. If no more questions, then Vargaha class, Samaptaha is over. Sadhayantu, you may all go. Vargaha samaptaha sadhayantu. Class is over. You may all go. <laughs>